Hi, Gary. Hi, how are you, Andrew? Hey, doing well, Gary. We've got uh, three or four minutes here, so hit us with it. What's hey, on your heart? Do, do real quick. Uh, my wife and I have been discussing what happens uh, with little children. I mean, from infants up until what age? I mean, if they haven't received Christ at, at, during that time, but they are you know, maybe they don't have the capability to do that. And we wanted to get your insight and thoughts uh, about that question and what, what you think happens to, you know, little yeah. children. Okay. All right. Well, Gary, that's uh, certainly one that is dear to my heart. I mean, I know a number of people who've lost children at a very early age, either as infants or very young ones, and uh, they're wondering the same thing. I think that there is not chapter and verse, at least there's not any passage that's extensively teasing out all of God's thoughts on this. So ultimately, I think we can fall back on one a proclamation of David. When David has an infant child that passes away, he says, he's not going to come to me, but I will go to him. So David believes that there will be a day when he can go to be with his child that has passed away. Uh, David, a man after God's own heart. David, a man who was certainly justified by faith. David, a man whom uh, we will see in heaven, believed that he would be reunited with his infant son who passed away very early on. So if David is saying that, and uh, it's an inspired scripture, then I think that ultimately we can uh, park there and, and and camp on that and just say, you know what, that in itself is incredible evidence. Not to mention many of the passages that talk about rejectors of the gospel and punishment and hell and things like that, they seem to consistently mention enemies, enemies of God, rejectors of the gospel, people who have heard and said no thank you. Now again, we can't build uh, an elaborate theology on an absence of evidence. We do have David's remark. Uh, we do have the heart of God, the mercy of God, the kindness of God, the grace of God, who God is to us as creator and as heavenly father. I think ultimately we just have to put our confidence in his goodness and in his kindness. So those are my thoughts on that question, uh, and I appreciate it. Appreciate your call tonight. I hope that's an encouragement to you as you consider, uh, you know, wh what is it that happens to the little ones who have no mental faculties, who have not reached an age where they can make any decision uh, based on an intellectual argument or, or hear the good news and respond to it by faith. Appreciate your call. Reach out to us again anytime.